Hey guys, so some news came out the other day, and uh, I wanted to kind of look over it and talk to you guys about it. It's uh, the classic NES, the one that came out that's like impossible to get. Well, there's a Famicom version of it as well, and what happened was a hacker actually managed to essentially install their own uh, their own framework to it, the kernel. So it's a Linux kernel that they managed to install, and that's going to let them basically do things that the system shouldn't be able to do, like you could load an operating system like Linux straight up on it and it can run it. Um, you can also do things like remove the emulator, which is probably the most, probably the best thing you can do right now out of it, because I don't really know what the point of hacking it is, to be honest, and I'll go over that in a second. But uh, the system itself, the little NES guy, basically the way it runs is it's running a version of Linux. It's actually open source, Nintendo actually has it out, you can actually basically check through the source files and everything, but it's running a version of Linux in order to basically run all the emulators and everything and, and upscale to HDMI, all that stuff. It all runs through Linux. So, a hacker in Japan, basically, using this, the Famicom version, managed to essentially solder a cable to the board, run it to his USB in his computer, and load his own Linux kernel onto the system, which gives him root access, essentially, so he can load his own uh, bootloader, OS, all that good stuff. So, I assume he's going to attempt to install like a Linux OS. I would recommend that he tries to pull that Nintendo emulator directly off there right away because it's it's an emulator that is coded by Nintendo, so it's basically gonna be, you know, 100% compatible essentially with what they have in there. And it's probably coded better than anything that we have now because, I mean, if you consider it, it's Nintendo, they know their assets and everything, so they know how to do that. But I wanted to get to the, something I was thinking about this. I don't know why you would want to hack the system. There's really no benefit to it. Um, people are going to talk about how you can load Linux on it, um, maybe you can load other games on it, although there's no real expansion, I'm not really sure how you would do that, considering the chip that's on the board is soldered to it, it's a flash chip, it's a NAND chip, so, and the system itself, although it's powerful enough to run NES games, there's no benefit to loading Linux on it, because it's not a very powerful system in terms of running Linux. For example, the system itself, okay, this is this is the NES Classic specs. It's running an all-winner R16, which is a which is an ARM processor essentially that is a basically it's a quad-core Cortex A7. It's running a Mali 400 MP2 GPU system on a chip, of course, SOC. And basically, if you know about Raspberry Pi, so you know the Raspberry Pi systems, okay? Um, they've been around for a while. They're great to have for enthusiasts. You know, you can load. Linux on it, you can code on it, you can do all kinds of cool stuff with it, it's very low power. This system is essentially a semi-stripped down Raspberry Pi 2. And the reason I say it's stripped down is because the NES Classic only has 256 megs of DDR3 RAM, okay? And it barely has much storage, it's, it's a 512 meg NAND, okay? So, what, what you're looking at here, okay, with NES Classic, you're looking, like I said, at a stripped down Raspberry Pi 2. It makes more sense if you run a, want to run Linux on this processor to just buy a Raspberry 2. It's cheaper, they're plentiful, you can get them anywhere. eBay has them, they're like $30, $35. In fact, for that price, you can get a Raspberry Pi 3. Now, which is much more powerful, a lot more powerful. It has wireless built in. Now, like I said, there's really no reason to be hacked. If you get one, don't even bother hacking it. There's really no reason to. I assume they did this just for fun. I don't really know what they want to do with it, um, because the only th thing that's good about the system right now, other than playing it obviously and everything, but to hack it, is to pull that emulator off. There's no point to actually hack this or do anything to it. Um, some people are going to be like, oh, you can load games on it. Just buy a Raspberry Pi and load games on that. It's going to run it better anyway, Raspberry Pi 3. Um, and really, there's, there's, it, it probably wouldn't be easy to load games onto it. Um, you, there's no, like, to my knowledge, there's nowhere to put an SD card. Uh, just in there, and maybe hooking like it up through USB maybe would be able to put stuff on there, but again, it seems like a lot of trouble when you could simply get a Raspberry Pi. I assume this was just a cool project for this person to do. I'm sure our, our Americanized NES Classic will also be hacked soon, but I don't know why you would do this. So that's just my thoughts on it. There's no point. If you get an NES Classic, don't even bother taking it apart to hack it. Take it if you want to take it apart to look at it, that's cool, but don't bother taking the part to hack it, guys. It makes no sense. It's it's just cool to see this. I like I know people like to hack things when they come out. That's neat. But honestly, keep the NES Classic together. Play it. Enjoy it. Um, and if you really want to get into the world of loading Linux and learning Linux and 
doing things like this, just get a Raspberry Pi 3. Much more powerful at this point, and it will run Linux much better too, okay? So, uh, but I just wanted to put my thoughts down for this very quickly. I saw it in the news, I thought it was kind of cool, but at the same time, that's all it really is. It's kind of a hobbyist thing. It's fun, I guess, to learn how to hack it, but... Uh, other than that, guys, um, if you manage to get a hold of one, definitely don't do this because I don't even know. I still can't get one. I've been looking. So, but uh, yeah, so a couple videos come out tomorrow. We're going to take a look at this X1 chip, guys, and I have a feeling you'll be surprised with how powerful it actually is. So I will see you guys tomorrow around 2 or 3 o'clock. I'll see you then.